Do you know that your brain doesn't understand stress? In fact, for your brain, it is not stress, it is fear. We are all evolved from the reptilian life to mammalian life and right now a human life. If you look at the evolution of brain, you can see that reptiles carried something called a reptilian brain. You can call it as a brainstem for a human brain. Then with the evolution emerged mammals and where there came the mammalian brain or a limbic brain or emotional brain. Mammalian brain expresses and experiences emotions. Now the original, the root brain is the brainstem, which is called the reptilian brain. And that brain works only on fight or flight mode. Fight or flight means you go near to a snake and tap on the floor. There will be only two responses. Either he will bite you or he will run away. That is fight or flight. Your brainstem, that means your reptilian brain also works the same way, fight or flight. So that's called your fear center. And it has got the main role of your reptilian brain, your brainstem is to keep you alive. Even a brain dead person who may be in a coma state, you can see that he's breathing, you know, his blood flow is there, he's breathing, his heart is pumping because this brainstem is working. So that's a fear center. We call it as a fear center. So we can say that it's a fear center means a negative thing. No, it's not a negative thing. That's what is protecting you. You know, because we have to be alive, that's the most important thing. This part of the brain is the most powerful part of your brain. And now, when you stand in front of your boss and your boss is shouting at you, that point of time, again, you create the same kind of fear or your brainstem is creating the same kind of fear as if a wild animal is standing in front of you. This, we call it a stress. What happens when the fear center is activated? If we know that, there are interesting biohacks to manage that.